Sky high, dude. I'll tell you yeah. what, man. I think that this film is fantastic. I'm going to uh, just rank it right now. S plus tier, guys. Fantastic film. All right, no take backsies. <laughs> That's not true. Don't, don't put that down. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jackson. Every- <laughs> I'm fucking dying here, dude. Jackson, what did you think of fucking Sky High? Oh, God. I thought it was okay. Most of the time, it was just goofy and boring, to be honest. Uh, I don't think the comedy really sat very well. I think the drama was pretty poorly done. Uh, I think the main antagonist is fucking retarded, but they're like, this is like a Disney movie, so I'm not. You know, like Royal Pain? No, not Dude, really. she was so fucking hot, though. <laughs> hold on, a, hold on a second. I think she was actually over eighteen in this. She the time was. Of this we looked movie. it up. Uh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> was everyone the the main boy was obviously over eighteen? Yeah, yes. most definitely. Yeah, I think that, the parents were too. Yeah, that chick. Uh, fun fact goes on to play uh, the main girl in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. She plays. That's Ramona. Yeah. Huh. I haven't seen Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, to be honest. <laughs> That'll definitely come up at some point while in these watch-alongs. Don't you worry, dude. Probably. It's a good movie. I don't even think I have it on my list just because I've seen it so many times at this point. But Sky High is also a film I've seen a lot at this point. I was quoting the thing throughout the whole ass movie until (laughs) Jackson told me to please stop. Oh my god. (laughs) Fucking both Dylan and Nico just like reading out the line before they say it fucking constantly. Listen, Jackson. I was doing it unironically. I was just taking a wild stab. I don't fucking care. I wasn't doing it on purpose. Shut the fuck up. Listen, man. I wasn't wasn't in on it. I was just like, man, it'd be funny if they said this. so I said it out loud. Sorry, man. I didn't realize it would ruin the movie for you. It's do it in your do it in your fucking head. It probably didn't help that Nico had already been doing it for about half the movie. So when I finally it definitely did was not it, half like the movie. Time, I gave up like a quarter in. Yeah, I was gonna listen, say man. I was like, I was drunk. I don't remember. True, we were we were getting hammered onto Mike's hard throughout the watch through. <laughs> yes, sir. High. Well, you know, you know for a fact that that wasn't the only thing I drank that night. That's irrelevant. You didn't drink any whiskey or bourbon or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> But yeah, this movie was pretty mid. Okay, but like, guys, she can turn into a guinea pig. Isn't that silly? And her voice is like funny? squeaky when she talks when she's a guinea pig. Yeah. yeah. Why is this fucking thing, the gravitational device that holds up this school, just in the middle of some like random like vent network that is only accessible by being a fucking guinea pig? How are you? How do you perform maintenance on that? Why is this? How did Royal so- Pain get her little thing on there? Well, she's a techno wizard, or whatever the fuck. Oh, so she probably yeah, had like okay. a little drone or some shit fly down That's there. That's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I want to say some things about the movie now. Coach Go Boomer is great. Stand up. I film. was gonna. That's the first thing I was gonna say. <laughs> Casting Bruce Campbell as Coach Boomer was an inspired choice. Yeah. I love seeing Bruce Campbell and things. I don't know who that is. He's Coach uh, Boomer. Main, he's yeah. He's he's Ash from uh uh Evil Dead. I haven't seen that movie either, but I know who you're talking about. He's also a, a random hotel. Uh, he's like a hotel doorman in Spider Man Two. He also voices um, Miles Morales in Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> I kind of have to ask, what is the point of this, like, hero sidekick cast system? Yeah, I, yeah it's, a little, it's a little fucked up, honestly. It's, it's very <laughs> fucked up. Like, why not just be, like, a regular member of society at that point? Mm-hmm. Why, do you, why does everyone need a sidekick? It's, like, it's weird. Yeah, it's very strange. Another another thing I find strange, so that, like they're doing their little, uh, they're like a signing ritual or whatever the fuck word you want to use for it for a hero and sidekick, and like the bell rings in the middle of it, and they go to lunch and then they come back. Yeah, that's not how periods work in high school. <laughs> So periods work at sky high, baby. You know, it's, it's like the first day. It's like orientation or whatever. It, it, it's a little wacky, you know. It's. Yeah. It's Maybe. not a big deal, man. Maybe. It, uh, if you guys had to put a percentage on on the following stat, how similar is this to My Hero Academia? Oh, fucking 90%, dude. <laughs> how many more similarities main, do you need? Main boy starts out unpowered, then becomes like the most powerful person in the school. I, I think the only similarities you can draw is that there are a bunch of teenagers that go to school for their powers they literally do the league of villains attack 
Frankly, a lot of, a think, lot of uh, the characters have just kind of goofy it. powers that aren't like super obvious. It's a very poor, it's a very poor representation. I would say at that point of My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia came after this. It's a poor representation of Sky High. Exactly. I think My Hero Academia did it better. I think we can all agree on that, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you guys are all quiet. And I was like, there's no fucking way. I like how yeah. they use the, the sidekick shtick uh, to make both gay jokes and racism jokes. <laughs> what are you that will about? like literally they do a whole bit where like Will is having to come out to his dad as a sidekick. Hmm. It's an allegory for homosexuality, which is what this entire movie is about. True. That explains why he dumps the hot chick during the film. <laughs> There's no he other reason the, he would do that other than yeah, he's he thought gay. the child yeah he thought the childhood friend would make a better beard yeah um you know so one thing I do find kind of disappointing is I feel like how do I offer it I feel like War and Peace is objectively the most interesting character in this movie and he doesn't get set up very well and he doesn't get much characterization yeah they don't really explore him much at all. Yeah. I think he should be the main character. He's way fucking cooler. And he has a more interesting background. Yeah, there you go. Yes, sir. Yeah. His father was Get a it. big bad supervillain, dude. But now he, he he's he's trying to, like, you know, fucking uh, be a superhero instead. Yeah, he's he's the Bakugo to Will's. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's enough. He, and he's fire. Yeah. That's like explosions. Yeah. It's one to one, dude. One hundred percent. But get it, Dylan. War and Peace, like the book, like Tolstoy's magnum opus. Dylan, do you get it? War and Peace. <laughs> I don't know what book you guys are talking about. <laughs> Anyways, I don't like the way they introduce the powers. By the way, specifically with the main character and him like gaining his powers after not having them for so long. Yeah. Not a, not a huge fan of that. They. Seems like really tacked on, like they didn't know exactly where to put all of these things. Mm -hmm. So they're just like, all right, he's getting fought. Now let's make him strong. Oh, he's falling. <laughs> now let's make him fly. Yeah. They're definitely assholes. But maybe, Jackson, maybe they only activate for him under extreme circumstances, you know? That makes sense to me. That, that's what it required in order for them to come out. Bullshit. He's an American student. He's at least been in one or two school shootings at this point that would have triggered it. Super shootings. Yeah, exactly. I have a note here that says that crash was hilarious. Do we know what one I'm referring to there? Would it happen to be the crash where the fucks fucking drops the car and he drops instantly to the floor? No, definitely I, not that one. That wasn't. I, I mean, that know, was that. a little funny, but there was one I was. Uh, I I. <sighs> no, oh, it was when know, he was fighting War and Peace. And he, like, chucks him off the table, and then, like, it's like the concrete barrier, <laughs> and then Warren Peace just goes, <laughs> like that. <laughs> that was fucking funny, dude. Yeah, that was that was pretty good, man. That was pretty that good. That got me really bad. Yeah, fun fact, Tanner. Jackson somehow completely missed that whole scene where he got his powers. I did totally miss that. I was like, wait a second, why is he fucking strong? Why, like, they were in detention together. I'm like, why the hell is he in detention with him? <laughs> I thought he was just getting fucking like, beat up the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, That's I was funny. drunk and I caught that. I don't know how you miss it. No, no, I spaced out, I guess. Fucking crazy. In are the, the villains... In the middle of a fight scene. <laughs> are the villains supposed to feel like Power Ranger villains? Maybe. They I, seem I, I very much that, inspired but... by that, at the very least. I got that yeah. vibe, for sure. Especially Stitches. He felt straight out of a Power Ranger. Yeah, that's that. that was the main one, that... <laughs> Gave me that I also feeling. that dumb bitch almost killed Will when he was fighting Royal Plane and he had the upper hand and then Layla runs in the room. She's like, Will, he's like, huh? And then he gets knocked out the <laughs> fucking window. She almost killed him. That was yeah. funny. I like that part. Uh and finally, um a not only did My Hero Academia rip this movie off, Age of Ultron <laughs> ripped this movie off when they dropped Sarkovia. Holy shit, dude. You're blowing this thing wide open here. Uh-huh, it's all a conspiracy. That's a skewed that's a skewed aspect of ripped off. I, I think ripped off is when you do a more poor version of what the original tried to do. That's I not think what it's that totally means. possible to rip something off and do it better. I, I haven't really ever heard it in that context, so I can't 
disagree with you. I think ripped off is referencing like ripping a DVD, you know, mm. where you're 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 like taking the content. I, I guess. Yeah. Speaking of content, guys, let's uh, maybe wrap this one up here, Jackson. What would you rate this movie, do you think? Sky High, the movie that you wanted to see for so long. D. Jesus fucking Christ, okay. D? D. I thought this movie was pretty fucking rough. <laughs> I didn't think a lot of it was very funny. I don't. I think a lot of things were forced. I didn't like the drama, so basically a lot of like the side plot of it. I think the main villain thing was pretty... Re- Pretty retarded. She's so hot, though, Jackson. Did you consider <laughs> that? I don't care. Have you considered that? I don't fucking care. She's really not all yeah, that hot, man. I don't, hot, she's I don't know what you either, see. Come on. All right, we already know Nico rated an S+. Oh, what do you guys say? You're the saying? only one here, man. <laughs> Is that actually the rating you're sticking with? You no, but you go he first, He never said Dylan. that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it a, a D+. Plus. You fucking sheep, old Tanner. How about you? Oh, I went with a B-. minus. <laughs> What the fuck, how? <laughs> yeah, honestly, uh, looking over where I ranked, like, all these other movies... Uh... Nico, let your bias win. <clears throat> I think, personally, <laughs> despite there being a bit more molestation than I like in this film, I'll give it a C-. <laughs> minus. What the fuck are you talking about? You said that before, and I had no clue what you meant by that. There were at least four counts of molestation in this film, Dylan. What do you mean? How? He smacked a student's ass. <laughs> He did do that's that. Not, that's not sexual touch, dude. What the fuck? Yes, it what is. Are you what? An ass? What, else, what else would it be? <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. Dylan got touched by adults a lot when he was a kid. I guess. Not true. I didn't get touched at all as a child. I forgot to. I forgot to bring up. Um, fucking what's his face? Big brain guy. He's very funny. Yeah. He was hilarious throughout the whole movie. I like that his face is just the same when he was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever, whenever I hear his voice, I can only ever hear who he's voice acted as. It's, it's just, a, just a curse at this point. Yeah, yeah Pleakley. Pleakley, fucking that one alien from Invaders. Oh yeah, that's right. The tallest. There's a couple other yeah. things. The yeah, purple I don't know which one. one to be exact. Uh, sure. I, I didn't know which one. He was either the red one or the purple one. You got a fifty-fifty chance. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm sure he's been in more, but nothing's coming to mind. Fair enough, Jackson. Where's this movie falling? That puts us at a solid C minus, meaning it's the same tier of movie as The Cave and Pumping Iron. That seems fair wow. to me personally. Crazy. Fair enough. 